Hi guys. I get several requests to make amphibious vehicles. And I've done a few. I've got a playlist of amphibious vehicles. But I haven't done one that really looks like a car or a truck. So I thought I'd see what I could do with this 4x4 truck that I bought in a charity shop earlier this year. It says 95 pence on the label. I've already modified this one in the past. So that we've got connectors on the steering motor and the drive motor that I can plug into a normal ESC, brushed ESC, and use it for hobby grade radio control. Now when I say hobby grade radio control, that's the control system is hobby grade, not the car. The car is still the original little DC motors in it, and the steering is only full right or full left, there's no proportional steering. We do get proportional um, speed, faster and slower, because the ESC gives us that. But the steering is still the simple DC motor pushing a little bar, either all the way to the left or all the way to the right. So, what I'm going to do is change the tyres to something that's a bit more um, floatable. <laughs> I've got a couple of pool noodles, as they're called here, swimming aids. And you can see one's hollow and the other one's not. What I'm thinking of doing is taking the rubber tyres off, jamming one bit of noodle straight in the side of the wheel, hot gluing it in place, cutting it at a suitable length, and then cutting this one up into sections and gluing it right round the outside edge, this tread I suppose you could call it, and see if we can get it to float and go forwards and backwards and steer. Now the steering is going to be weak or the weak point because all we can do is just turn the wheels. They're not powered so there's no um, power going into the steering and turning them left and right is not like turning a rudder So I think the steering we're going to get is, well, like I say, weak. But that's what I'll do. I'll take the tyres off, glue some noodles in, cut one up for tread around the outside, and we'll see whether it works or not. 